Hello everyone, this is Andy. Uh, thank you for my uh, liking my previous videos and I would request you to please go through this video and also please like, comment and subscribe my channel. So based on your request and the comments that you have given in my previous videos, I have come up with this video. So the topic of this video is like who can learn RPA. So I'll quickly explain you who uh, can learn RPA. So before uh, knowing who can learn RPA, I have also, you know, given a slide on why RPA is very important. I mean, why RPA? So there are so many reasons, you know, why RPA is very popular and famous in the current market. But uh, these are the bullet points that I have mentioned. RPA is, uh, e is very easy to scale and implement. Uh, yes, the, uh, in your current process, it is very easy to implement RPA if your process is uh, repetitive and if the process is of high volume, then you can easily implement RPA. And software migration is not required. Uh, the current application in which uh, you are, uh, you know, handling your process or its steps, if you want to automate that software itself, then it is very expensive because you will have to migrate so many things. And that is not possible also because it will take so much of time and also it is very expensive. But in order to avoid that, you can implement, you can use any of the RPA tools and you can easily automate your process. So. RPA is always, you know, less expensive than software migration. The third point is like delivery success with a good ROI. Yes, because most of the RPA process, they have a very good, uh, you know, delivery success rate. I have been working in this industry for a long time, like uh, for a few years, I have seen many of the process. It is happily, you know, moving to the production environment. So with a very good, uh, you know, accuracy and success. And there is no downtime since the robo can work 24 by 7 so there is no downtime and ROI is very visible uh, because uh, there will be substantial redu reduction in the FTE so that is the reason ROI is very visible and it saves time and money because you know the robo will work uh, not like the you know human being previous they were working but now the robo will work so it will save time and money and uh, the last one last point is it's very popular and you know the people who are in rpa or robotic process automation they are getting very good demand in the market with high salary and also these are the reasons why a person can think you know they can switch their career from their existing uh, process to the robotic process automation moving to the next slide so who can learn rpa any anybody can learn rpa it's not like you know the person who is having good engineering background they can learn rpa but person without any engineering background also can learn RPA but these are the things they should have you know in order to learn RPA anybody who has the passion to learn and grow yes obviously because if you are into this uh, robotic uh, process automation market then you should have passion to learn and grow because so many things will be are changing uh, frequently and rapidly so you have to be always in a learning and growing mode people with good domain and industrial knowledge because there are so many domains like uh, aviation utility industry insurance banking and all uh, they are implementing rpa uh, currently so if a person is having good domain and industrial knowledge then it is very helpful and it is very beneficial for them and they can easily you know implement rpa in those kind of domain and person with logical and reasoning skills uh, they should have yes because especially the process designer or business analyst or solution architect and even the developers they should have very good logical and reasoning skill in order to you know build a code or in order to in order to what do you say the design the process or the solution design document and person should have good creative imagination why i'm telling this because you know there are so many other way and easy way you know person you know even a two person can uh, the design of two person can vary so if a person is having very good or creative imagination then the design will be very good the next one is like as i told earlier that programming knowledge is not required but having programming knowledge is always an advantage because you know especially the developers and the solution architect they have to come up with the various process improvement or you know how can they uh, uh, what you say adapt uh, based on the requirement so you know programming knowledge is also kind of uh, is uh, added advantage but uh, most of the rpa tools they have the drop and dra uh, drag functionalities and the last one but not the least continuous learning attitude yes because the market is growing so fast and everything is changing so fast so continuous learning attitudes attitude is very important moving to the next slide these are the different tools available in the market 
uh, Blue Prism Automation Anywhere UI Path, Pega, Nice. But I can say Automation Anywhere UI Path and Blue Prism, they are the leading RPA tools in the market uh, at the moment. So uh, thank you uh, for watching this video. So that's all for this uh, for today or for this video. So if you like this video, then please comment or like my video and also subscribe my channel and if you have if you want to you know learn or if you want to get trained more on rpa then you can email on my email address on in the uh, screen of your uh, computer or mobile thank you for watching this video